Guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here, and we're taking a look at the almost final version of the Chameleon Launcher for Android tablets. Um, we've been already playing around with the pre beta, pre alpha, whatever you name it, for all these backers of the Kickstart project, and finally, this one is now available here on the Google Play Store. And as you can see, in terms of the design, it didn't really change a lot. Uh, we still have these uh, different widgets over here, so I just set up uh, my little Twitter widget here. Here's one for my Gmail inbox, and um, this should be one for my Facebook, but sometimes it just wants me to re-authenticate myself, and um, then here we go. Finally, it's showing up, so I have my Facebook wall, my stream here, a little widget for the time, not sure if I really need this, and a widget for the weather. Let me just show you how you can do this. You just press and hold the screen, here we go. And then you can choose in between wallpapers and widgets. Oh, here are the widgets. Interesting. I guess I just found out a little bug here. Um, let's try this again. Hello widgets. Here we are. Um, Facebook, Gmail, Instagram, news. I mean, you, you can read this on your own. Uh, what's new here is the switches widget and um, the YouTube widget and make a widget. Make a widget just kind of takes you to this little information pop-up window um, where you have to type in the address, the URL for your widget and of course you can also load the documentation where the fine forks of Chameleon Launcher will just give you all the information you need to create your own widgets. To be honest, um, I'm, a little, I'm still a little bit underwhelmed. Um, this is something that I can easily create with uh, any launcher that is on the market right now. I was kind of hoping that the Chameleon guys are creating a lot of more widgets for you to, to check out. Let me just try this one here. And then you can also see how this works, right? So I'm going to resize a widget. There we go. And over here you have the different home screens. Right? And I just can easily add another one can also give it a different layout. Hold on. Let's try this. There we go. Different wallpaper on here. That's about it. And uh, then you can just add um, widgets to it or of course also application. But you're mainly adding applications here to this little quick launch bar on the bottom. Uh, I've never is it possible to get an application shortcut onto a home screen? Nope, it's not. Which, seriously, in my opinion, absolutely sucks because I also want to have some shortcuts for applications on my home screen. Plus, I love to create folders. Uh, what's also new is this little, oops, not this one, but this little link to um, Shoutout. It just kind of shows all the backers, and depending on how much money you pledged, um, the size of the circle is changing. Let's see if I can find myself over there. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, here we are. So I definitely shipped in some money, I tell you that. Um, so what's new? Uh, well, not much. Two new widgets. Um, the idea and the option to create your own widgets, but besides that the whole principle and the whole idea of the Chameleon Launcher is still the same. So this is a first look at almost the final of the new Chameleon Launcher for Android tablets. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching.